In mathematics, the octonians are a normed division algebra over the real numbers, usually represented by the capital letter O, using bold face O or blackboard bold. There are only four such algebras, the other three being the real numbers R, the complex numbers C, and the quaternions H. They are non-commutative and non-associative, but satisfy a weaker form of associativity, namely they are alternative. Octonians are not as well known as the quaternions and complex numbers, which are much more widely studied and used. Despite this, they have some interesting properties and are related to a number of exceptional structures in mathematics, among them the exceptional Lie groups. Additionally, octonians have applications in fields such as string theory, special relativity, and quantum logic. The octonians were discovered in 1843 by John T. Graves, inspired by his friend W. R. Hamilton's discovery of quaternions. Graves called his discovery octaves, and mentioned them in a letter to Hamilton dated 16 December 1843, but his first publication of his result in was slightly later than Cayley's article on them. The Octonians were discovered independently by Arthur Cayley and are sometimes referred to as Cayley numbers or the Cayley algebra. Hamilton described the early history of Graves' discovery. Definition the octonions can be thought of as octets of real numbers. Every octonion is a real linear combination of the unit octonions. Where E0 is the scalar or real element, it may be identified with the real number 1. That is, every octonion x can be written in the form with real coefficients, she. Addition and subtraction of octonions is done by adding and subtracting corresponding terms and hence their coefficients, like quaternions. Multiplication is more complex. Multiplication is distributive over addition, so the product of two octonions can be calculated by summing the products of all the terms. Again like quaternions. The product of each term can be given by multiplication of the coefficients and a multiplication table of the unit octonions, like this one, and John T. Graves, most of diagonal elements of the table are antisymmetric, making it almost a skew-symmetric matrix except for the elements on the main diagonal, as well as the row and column for which E0 is an operon. The table can be summarized by the relations. Where is a completely antisymmetric tensor with value plus 1 when i j k equals 123, 145, 176, 246, 257, 347, 365, and, with e0 the scalar element, and i j k equals 1. 7. The above definition though is not unique, but is only one of 480 possible definitions for octonia in multiplication with E0 equals 1. The others can be obtained by permuting and changing the signs of the non-scalar basis elements. The 480 different algebras are isomorphic, and there is rarely a need to consider which particular multiplication rule is used. Each of these 480 definitions is invariant up to signs under some 7 cycle of the points, and for each 7 cycle there are 4 definitions. Differing by signs and reversal of order, a common choice is to use the definition invariant under the 7 cycle with E1 E2 equals E4 as it is particularly easy to remember the multiplication. A variation of this sometimes used is to label the elements of the basis by the elements infinity, 0, 1, 2, 6 of the projective line over the finite field of order 7. The multiplication is then given by E infinity equals 1 and E1 E2 equals E4, and all expressions obtained from this by adding a constant to all subscripts. In other words using the seven triples. These are the non-zero code words of the quadratic residue code of length 7 over the field of two elements. There is a symmetry of order 7 given by adding a constant mod 7 to all subscripts and also a symmetry of order 3 given by multiplying all subscripts by one of the quadratic residues 1, 2, 4 mod 7. The multiplication table for a geometric algebra of signature can be given in terms of the following seven quaternionic triples. 
in which the lowercase items are vectors and the uppercase ones are by vectors and asterisk equals mijk. If the asterisk is forced to be equal to the identity then the multiplicatum ceases to be associative, but the asterisk may be removed from the multiplication table resulting in an octonion multiplication table. Note that in keeping asterisk equals mijk associative and thus not reducing the four-dimensional geometric algebra to an octonion one, the whole multiplication table can be derived from the equation for asterisk. Consider the gamma matrices. The formula defining the fifth gamma matrix shows that it is the asterisk of a four-dimensional geometric algebra of the gamma matrices. Cayley Dixon construction A more systematic way of defining the octonions is via the Cayley Dixon construction. Just as quaternions can be defined as pairs of complex numbers, the octonions can be defined as pairs of quaternions. Addition is defined pairwise. The product of two pairs of quaternions and is defined by where denotes the conjugate of the quaternion Z. This definition is equivalent to the one given above when the eight unit octonions are identified with the pairs. Fano plane mnemonic A convenient mnemonic for remembering the product of unit octonions is given by the diagram at the right, which represents the multiplication table of Cayley and Graves. This diagram with seven points and seven lines is called the Fano plane. The lines are oriented. The seven points correspond to the seven standard basis elements of BIM. Each pair of distinct points lies on a unique line and each line runs through exactly three points. Let be an ordered triple of points lying on a given line with the order specified by the direction of the arrow. Then multiplication is given by ab equals c and bar equals minus c together with cyclic permutations. These rules together with one is the multiplicative identity. A2 equals minus 1 for each point in the diagram, completely defines the multiplicative structure of the octonions. Each of the seven lines generates a subalgebra of O isomorphic to the quaternions H, conjugate, norm, and inverse the conjugate of an octonion is given by conjugation is an involution of O and satisfies asterisk equals Y asterisk X asterisk. The real part of X is given by and the imaginary part by the set of all purely imaginary octonions span a seven-dimension subspace of O, denoted M. Conjugation of octonions satisfies the equation the product of an octonion with its conjugate X asterisk X equals X X asterisk is always a non-negative real number. Using this the norm of an octonion can be defined, as this norm agrees with the standard Euclidean norm on R8. The existence of a norm on O implies the existence of inverses for every non-zero element of O. The inverse of X0 is given by it satisfies X X minus 1 equals X minus 1 X equals 1. Properties Octonionic multiplication is neither commutative, if a distinct and non-zero, nor associative, if a distinct, non-zero or if. The octonions do satisfy a weaker form of associativity. They are alternative. This means that the subalgebra generated by any two elements is associative. Actually, one can show that the subalgebra generated by any two elements of O is isomorphic to R, C, or H, all of which are associative. Because of their non-associativity, octonions don't have matrix representations, unlike quaternions. The octonions do retain one important property shared by R, C, and H. The norm on O satisfies this implies that the octonions form a non-associative norm division algebra. The higher dimensional algebras defined by the Cayley-Dixon construction all fail to satisfy this property. They all have zero divisors. Wider number systems exist which have a multiplicative modulus. Their modulus is defined differently from their norm, and they also contain zero divisors. It turns out that the only normed division algebras over the rails are R, C, H, and O. These four algebras also form the only alternative, finite-dimensional division algebras over the rails. Not being associative, the non-zero elements of O do not form a group. They do, however, form a loop, indeed a Mufang loop. 
commutator and cross product. The commutator of two octonions x and y is given by this as anti-symmetric and imaginary. If it is considered only as a product on the imaginary subspace M, it defines a product on that space, the seven-dimensional cross product. Given by like the cross product in three dimensions this is a vector orthogonal to x and y with magnitude but like the octonion product it is not uniquely defined. Instead there are many different cross products, each one dependent on the choice of octonion product. Automorphisms An automorphism, A, of the octonions is an invertible linear transformation of O which satisfies the set of all automorphisms of O forms a group, called G2. The group G2 is a simply connected, compact, real Lie group of dimension 14. This group is the smallest of the exceptional Lie groups and is isomorphic to the subgroup of spin that preserves any chosen particular vector in its eight-dimensional real spin or representation. The group spin is in turn the subgroup of the group of isotopies described below. See also PSL, the automorphism group of the Fano plane. Isotopies An isotopy of an algebra is a triple of bijective linear maps A, B, C such that if x, y equals z then ab equals c, for a equals b equals c this is the same as an automorphism. The isotopy group of an algebra is the group of all isotopies, which contains the group of automorphisms as a subgroup. The isotopy group of the octonions is the group spin H, with A, B, and C acting as the three eight-dimensional representations. The subgroup of elements where C fixes the identity is the subgroup spin 7, and the subgroup where A, B, and C all fix the identity is the automorphism group G2. Integral octonions There are several natural ways to choose an integral form of the octonions. The simplest is just to take the octonions whose coordinates are integers. This gives a non-associative algebra over the integers called the Gravesian octonions. However it is not a maximal order, and there are exactly seven maximal orders containing it. These seven maximal orders are all equivalent under automorphisms. The phrase integral octonions usually refers to a fixed choice of one of these seven orders. These maximal orders were constructed by Kerms, Dixon and Bruck as follows. Label the eight basis vectors by the points of the projective plane over the field with seven elements. First form the Kerms integers. These consist of octonions whose coordinates are integers or half integers, and that are half odd integers on one of the 16 sets of the extended quadratic residue code of length 8 over the field of two elements given by, and its images under adding a constant mod 7, and the complements of these eight sets. Pointed out they are not closed under multiplication, this mistake occurs in several published papers, then switch infinity and any other, coordinate, this gives a maximal order. There are seven ways to do this, giving seven maximal orders, which are all equivalent under cyclic permutations of the seven coordinates 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. The Kerms integers and the seven maximal orders are all isometric to the E8 lattice rescaled by a factor of 1, square root 2. In particular there are 240 elements of minimum non-zero norm 1 in each of these orders, forming a Mufang loop of order 240. The integral octonions have a division with remainder property. Given integral octonions R and B0, we can find Q in R with R equals QB plus R, where the remainder R has norm less than that of B. In the integral octonions, all left ideals and right ideals are two-sided ideals, and the only two-sided ideals are the principal ideals nowhere n is a non-negative integer. The integral octonions have a version of factorization into primes though it is not straightforward to state because the octonions are not associative so the product of octonions depends on the order in which one does the products. More precisely an integral octonion of norm Minnesota can be written as a product of integral octonions of norms M and N. The automorphism group of the integral octonions is the group G2 of order 12096 
which has a simple subgroup of index 2 isomorphic to the unitary group 2A2. The isotopy group of the integral octonions is the perfect double cover of the group of rotations of the E8 lattice.